Hey guys, how are you doing? So um, this is a bit of an impromptu live and I will tell you in a minute about why, but I wanted to hop on and really talk about doing interviews. I was um, actually supposed to be doing an interview right now, um, but I kind of messed up. I didn't have my question. So I'll talk about that and why that's even important too. But it also brought up, of course, another topic, something I was thinking of, of um, how doing interviews. So if you guys have done interviews or not done interviews, you definitely should be doing more and more interviews and how doing these interviews and having these questions, hey, Michelle, how are you doing? Will definitely help, um, help your SEO, help your business, help your life, make everything all easier, all that other good stuff. So let me share. You guys know I got to do the whole share thing. I swear I should get, what's that sharing program again? I had it and then I wasn't using it enough. And now I seem to be using it all the time. <laughs> and so I need to probably get it back. Um, I forgot the name of the program. Uh, what was it? Live Leap? Anybody use Live Leap? Is it still a thing? It used to be a thing. And like I said, I didn't, I wasn't using enough. I wasn't going live enough for Live Leap. So but I am getting pretty fast at the shares today. So we are, boom, we're done. Yes, Sharon was good today, good to me. So <laughs> so um, for those who are new here, for those who have never seen me, for those who are coming back, hey, 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 I am Akil Tompkins Robinson. I am the founder here at Girl Get Visible, founder of Online Boutique Source, which is moving over to Girl Get Visible. So if you're watching me there, come on over here. I promise you it's fun. Um, and the author of my SEO workbook. And we talk all about getting your business traffic, sales, customers, visibility, and pretty much making you like the it brand. It's funny, I just today which is what I'm probably going to work on next after I'm done with this whole talk with you guys. I just today, I'm recording podcast episodes to go with each of the strategies that we talk about in the um, what's your what's your ideal, I forgot the name of now, what's your ideal visibility quiz. So which let me put it in here so you guys can take the quiz if you have not. And one of the things we talk about or I talk about in that episode of the podcast is being the it go-to brand because real talk, like I've come to the conclusion, <laughs> me and my conclusions, right? I've come to the conclusion that people who start businesses, people who um, become entrepreneurs, yes, we do it for the money. Yes, we do it because we want to serve people. Yes, we do it for all those things, but real talk deep down inside somewhere, you want to be the it girl or the it guy. You want to be the people, the person people know about, people come to. You want to be the top of the top. And I'll tell you why I came to this conclusion. Because there are like literally a whole bunch of good ways to make money. <laughs> there are a lot of good ways and easy ways, easier ways to make money. You know, easier than going live, easier than marketing, easier than doing all your, your own. You know, you can go get the good job and sit in the good office and have other people pick up the slack when you're away. You know, it's nothing like what we are doing here with building businesses. So, you know, it takes a special kind of person to build a business. It takes a special kind of person to be an entrepreneur. And I am convinced I'm convinced that this special kind of person, which is us, also wants to be visible, also wants to be known. You want to be out there. Like you've got some type of dreams or thoughts of your business being in lights. I'm going to say in lights, um, in publications. You know, you want to be the it brand. So I've, like I said, I've come to that conclusion. I want to make sure you guys can hear me. Tell me if you guys can hear me because uh, I see people coming in and out. Okay, I do see me. Okay, cool. So that's how you guys can hear me. So I've come to that conclusion. And that's what my brand is all about now. Girl Get Visible is about helping you to become that it brand. And so one of the things that you're going to run into, you should run into, I want you to run into as you are growing and becoming the it brand is you'll do interviews. You will do lots of interviews. I do. If you've not seen me, um, you can Google me. You know, I always say that. <laughs> you can Google me, but I do podcast interviews. I've done interviews for blog posts. Um, you know, my dream one day is to do some magazine interviews, maybe do some Good Day New York interviews. I just saw somebody I know um, was on Good Day New York, so I want to be on Good Day New York too. Um, but, you know, doing interviews, doing things, talking to people, answering questions about, you know, about your business, about your niche, about what you do, how you help people, how you serve people. And so at some point in time, you'll get really, really used to 
doing interviews. And here's where, and if you're in my group, you know, we talk a lot about repurposing and making sure that you're not just getting content and, and like letting it go into the blue ether. You guys know that's why I'm not a big fan of these Facebook things because it goes into the blue ether. <laughs> you want to be creating content that's going to be used over and over and over again. And those interviews, those interview questions straight up and down, those are things that you are going to be able to use over and over and over again and use to boost your SEO. Because most likely, and especially like when I do podcast interviews, even when I do, and like it's not necessarily an interview, but if you're doing a live event and people are asking you questions, or if you're doing a vending event and people are asking you questions, write all those things down or take note of these are some of the questions that I've been asked. Because those are generally, if you've got the book, I talk about your eggs, milk, and butter, and your first couple of things that people want to know and people ask you about. Those are those questions. If you're doing an interview, and I usually like to do interviews, which hence why, so today I was supposed to be doing an interview. So um, actually like right now, which is why I said, you know what? I got on a little bit of makeup, actually look like a decent person. I am going to just hop on live because you know we can't, we can't waste a little bit of makeup and looking like a decent person. So I decided I would come on live and talk about this. And one of the reasons we're not doing the interview, so we had to reschedule. So it was, it, part, it was all my fault, I'll tell you. I did not read the part about me needing to send questions. And so I did not send questions. And so um, that messed me all up. And so, you know, we had to reschedule, which we will. And I will have on a little makeup again. I will look like a decent person again. You guys may get another live from all of it all over again. But one of the things when I usually do interviews, um, I tell the people that they can ask me whatever they want. I'm pretty much, I know my topic. Like if you've ever worked with me, talk to me, see me live, I know SEO like the back of my hand. So generally any question that comes my way, I'm pretty good with. And so, and I like that. I like the impromptu. And the reason why is because every person, every audience will have a little bit of slightly different cost, different questions, different flavor, different things here or there. And for me, it's research. It's also research for me to listen to and answer the questions that people have. Because those questions, I always say, if one person has the question, probably 1,000, 100, 10,000 people have that same question. So when I'm taking in those questions, when I'm answering them, those are things that now I can go and make blog, blog posts about. Those are things that now can become podcast episodes. Those are things that I can make videos or go live or do whatever I'm going to do to create content. Because the most important thing with SEO is that you are really answering and you are being there for what the people are already looking for. We don't want to come up with our whole new own stuff. Like SEO is not about your own stuff. <laughs> it's about answering the questions. It's really about getting in the minds, getting in the head of the people who are searching, which is easy. The people you're talking to who know you already, they're just like a searcher. They're just looking for you instead of going out and search. So getting those questions from them and then turning those questions into blog posts. Now imagine if you do, how many of you guys have done podcast interviews? I see Kwanda's on, I see Michaela's on. Hey guys, Michelle, I know you're on. I think all the people I see that are on have done, that I know of, that you guys have done some type of podcast interview or some type of interview before. And usually in those interviews, you get about seven to 10 questions. Now you can take all seven to 10 of those questions and make them into some type of blog post. You can even, I'll give you guys a super hint, especially if it's a podcast, you can even get that podcast episode transcribed and then just pull out your answer and make that into a blog post. So you don't even have to do all the work. Let me tell you, you actually have somebody else do that too for you because it's your words. You said them already. <laughs> you can definitely take those words and make them into a blog post and straight up and down answer it onto your site. And so if you do one interview or do this with one interview and you've got seven to 10 questions, you put out one a week, you've now got a month and a half to two months of blog post content right there with questions that you know someone else asked you in the interview. If you do multiple interviews, which again is why I let people come up with their own questions usually for me, because they have different things. 
I might have one interview that wants to know a lot about backlinks, another interview that wants to know a lot about keywords, a third interview, like I just recently did one um, where it was for music, musicians, and so they wanted to know how musicians could use SEO and, you know, what are some of the things that they would do because, you know, they're just producing music. How can they actually use SEO for that? Or local SEO, which is another thing that came up in that interview. All of those blog post after blog post after blog post after blog post. So when I say, are you ready for the question, which is what I started this out with, are you ready for the questions is if you've been, even if you have not been doing podcast interviews, you can easily act like you are. <laughs> you can flip on the camera like I do all the time and just answer the questions. You can flip on Rev. You guys know I love Rev.com. Um, and I have a link for Rev.com if you guys did not know. Let me put that in here for you too. It's actually a $10 off code for Rev. Slash Rev. I'm going to say what it's for, for transcriptions. So a lot of my stuff I record using Rev. And what you can do with Rev, I hope I spelled everything right. Um, but what you can do with Rev is you can record whatever it is you need to record, and then you can send it to them, and then they will transcribe it for you. How dope is that? So you can literally, like I said, you can write down the questions yourself, and you can answer them. You can think, what are the questions that people asked me last time I did a vending event, or last time I did a live event? What are the, th the things that people hit me up in the inbox about? We know we get the inbox messages. We know we sometimes don't get tired of the inbox messages, or we get tired of the inbox messages. You can use those for content. You can use those to now flip it around. So when I say, are you ready for the questions? You want questions. You want to be ready for the questions. This also will help you to practice for when you do, or if you do get um, podcasts or whatever type of interviews you're going to be doing, you will already have those things in place because guess what? You've been practicing. You already know. You know, you've got all of these things all prepared. And so this is how doing interviews and so you want to do like we're doing pitches this month in the SEO work club and I'm like literally pushing folks out the door get out there and pitch because I want you to do interviews I want you to do that to get your business out there I want you to do that to get your backlinks and now I'm telling you I want you to do that to get your questions <laughs> so that you can have more stuff to um, to create content about so let me see if you guys have any questions is this making sense to you guys? A little quiet on me today. I know it's a little bit later than usual. But if you don't have any other questions, like I said, take the quiz. I pinned the post um, online, boutiquesource.com slash quiz. It's going to show you what's your business's visibility type. So there are five strategies to getting to visibility, getting to not just doing the steps to SEO, which is one of the other things I say in the podcast. So you guys are going to hear some of this again. Not just doing the steps to SEO. The steps to SEO, I tell people all the time, that can happen in a weekend. But there's some growth that happens. There's some growth in you. There's some growth in your business. There's growth in your online presence, which is what we're trying to achieve. There's some growth that happens, and I mapped them out into five different strategies, and each of those strategies is an answer in the quiz. You can take the quiz, and you can find out what's going to work for you. What exactly do you need to do right now? Because there's one thing to listen to me, and like I'm talking about interviews right now, and you might be like, Killa, I'm not quite there yet, even though I think everyone is, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> But you might think you're not quite there yet. You may be well beyond that. I saw Michelle said she's done interviews and kind of done several interviews. You might be well beyond that. This quiz is going to help you pinpoint where you are and what you need to do to get to the next level. And as I said, and if you guys aren't already following me on iTunes, I definitely recommend doing that as well because I'm going to have podcast episodes over the next couple of weeks that are coming out for each of the strategy. So you're going to learn where you are. You're going to learn where you've been. You're going to learn where you're going. You're going to learn all about these strategies, all about getting visible, getting out there online, and of course, getting customers and sales as a result. No one shops with a business that they have no idea. No, they have no idea what it is, or they have no idea what it's about. No one. When you go to the store, you go to the store because you've heard about them, you've seen them, maybe even somebody told you to go there, but you've done that because that person, that store was visible. When you work with a professional, usually, like I see it all the time, people in Facebook groups, you know, who knows a graphic artist? Who knows a such and such? Who knows this? The only way people are going to tag you and the only way people are going to know you, the only way you're going to get selected is if you're visible. 
No one is recommending the person they have no idea about. And the people who don't know you or because nobody knows you, that's why you're not getting selected. Like, real talk. You guys know me. Telling you the truth. <laughs> so that's what I want to help you guys to avoid. That's what I want to help you guys to grow through. You know, we grow through everything. Um, and so that is what the quiz is going to be your first kind of starting point. So head to onlineboutiquesearch.com slash quiz. Take the quiz. Find out the strategy. If you got the interviews, get the questions. Um, and yeah, have fun in SEO land. All right. Bye, guys. Talk to you later.